Let's see what girl is eleven ten from uh, from from Canada. Yeah. Already torching a lot. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's go with pawn. Uh huh. Let's go with um knight. Let's go with um let's go with knight. Let's go with um bishop. Uh I mean, if it helps you talk out loud, I think you can. I just, I just can't say anything. But I'm pretty sure if you talk to right. yourself, that's fine. I just can't say anything. Yeah, no, I'm just thinking with hums and haws out loud. Okay, let's go with um, King. Yep. Let's go with um, pawn. Yep. Oh, I gotta close the channel. There we go. Uh, let's go with um. Let's go with bishop. All right, let's throw a little pin at him, at her, and see what she does. Let's go with Bishop. Now, do I invite her to loosen up her king side a bit? I think I am. I think I am gonna do that. Cause that's an annoying pin. She she can't she she kept her light squared bishop outside of the pawn chain, so she that bishop can't break the pin. And you gotta move the queen a couple times before before you can break it. Oh, let's go with knight. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, I was hoping you would say that. Also, apparently your chat needs to be emote only is what they said. So emote only. OK, yeah. I haven't minimized, but J15, can you put it in emote only for me? I think J15 can do that. There it is, yeah. Uh, bishop. Okay. Um, let's go with queen. Oh, I like this.
Ooh, we got him thinking. Let's go with uh, Queen. So those of you who, who are in chat who are wondering, I, I mean, I do have push. I push to mute, so I just literally hold a okay. key and it mutes me. So I'm while while I while I leave Hutch his thoughts, uh, we're doing pretty well here. I will say that it's very very good so far. And I think I like this move the best, right here. Yeah. Oh wait, did I not say queen? Because I was muted. You did. No, no, you said queen. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta be mindful of the yeah. F seven diagonal. Um, if I want to like push that pawn, for example, I gotta be careful mm -hmm. of that. I'm just thinking thinking out loud. Yeah, yeah, no, I can't. I obviously I can't say anything. But yeah, if, if it, I think yeah. if it helps you to think out loud, of course. I, I mean, as far as I understand, I think that's fine. I just literally can't say like, oh yeah, that's a great idea, or oh yeah, that's a great move, or whatever. I just can't say anything. Right. Um, I also got so I can put some pressure on his knight with my knight right there on uh, d4. <coughs> I'm hoping she doesn't push her pawn on c3 here. That would make things a little easier. Oh. Let's go with uh, knight. Just dominant performance so far. Ooh, her bishop is getting very trappy over here, too. Um, so do we play two games each for um, each opponent? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we play two games each. Um, and then if it's tied 1-1, one, one, then um, then I think there's like a tiebreak game. Uh, let's go with Bishop. Okay. All right. Getting pretty close to it here. J15 says, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no. I can't read. I'm not supposed to read. Why do I guess mods cannot do the emote chat? Uh, queen. Queen. Nice, very nice. By the way, we're not we're, we're not allowed to pre-move either, so that's why I couldn't say like when you played check. Obviously, the next move was queen g two, but but I'm not allowed to say like say a move in advance. So you just have to yeah. you just remember have to wait for me to actually say it. But yeah, that was that was a great game. Um, pretty much per. I think you you know what the problem is for um for them was that we had this position on on um <clears throat> move thirteen. I think I think her partner made the mistake. Of saying pawn, and so she didn't know which pawn. Like yeah. she didn't know to go c three and not b three, because c three was the move that that her partner wanted 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 her to play, and then she played b three. Whereas I think like easier might have been like it would have been hard, but if you see on move thirteen, could have played knight e three to attack uh, to attack yeah. the bishop, and then like I guess it's still bad because you have knight d four maybe. I, yeah, I would just move. I would just move my my bishop to to h five, and then. Right, and but then you see the thing is, I feel like there are, there are a couple moves that are okay for white. White can go knight f five, for example, to stop knight d four. Oh, never mind. I guess we have to start right away. Never mind. Okay. She she um, issued a um a challenge, so. Right, and the colors are right. So okay, so let's go with a uh, pawn. Pawn.
Let's go with Knight. Bishop. <clears throat> okay. Um, let's put you right there. Let's go with pawn. All right, let's do that. Um, let's go with bishop. I think we'll go here. So when you're playing, I don't know how much conversation we mm -hmm. can make. Like, oh, I, I mean, if it's not going to distract you, I, I could talk. I mean, it's only I don't want to distract okay. you. But if it's not going to distract okay. you, we can obviously talk when they're thinking. Okay. So I'll, I'll leave that up to you. If you want to talk, we totally can. Um, Knight. Uh um, now which, I don't know which way to, which spot to put him at, so I think I'll just, seems like the normal move. No, I was just going to say, like, when you play high chess at a really high level and you deal with sort of, like, the jitters and mm -hmm. kind of stress, do you have any things, have any, have any methods to calm yourself? Do you meditate or do you listen to music or? Uh, so do you, do you mean, like, like, in between games or, like, uh, or do you mean, like, yeah. after and, like... Well, I mean, I mean, like um, the the night before, or like during the tournament. Okay, so first of all, king. Yeah. Um. Yeah. What I would say is like, especially like if it's a long tournament, most of the time, once the tournament's underway, the first couple of days. Um. Generally, I I try actually not to think about chess because most of the time, when you wake up, you're studying the game, uh, before your match. So because of that, usually in the evenings, I try to actually not look at anything chess related if I can help it. Um. And then I get back to it in the morning and start studying. But usually that's what I do. I've done some meditation from time to time. Um, but the, the only thing I would say with meditation is I think you can become too calm sometimes if you, if you do a lot of it. And I feel like when you're playing in a competition, you really want to have some kind of an edge. Like you, you really do need to feel some nerves or, or feel the pressure on some level. Yeah. Um, so, so I've done it, but it's not, it's not something that I do regularly. Um, let's, go with, let's go with Rook. I think you want me to go here because this uh, file is going to open up. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, do you uh, do you play games? Do you play single player games or anything like that? You, okay, now you're not saying during tournaments, right? You mean in general? <laughs> like video games. Do you have a Switch you take with you or anything? Um, not not really. I I think it's just one of those things where um for the most part, I I mean professional events tend to be in s some pretty fancy cities like Paris and London and places like that. So, so usually what I do is I just try to go outside. Now I do, I do play other games, but very rarely do I do it, do that during, during tournaments. Um, I mean, if, if it's not during a tournament, obviously I play other, play other games, but during tournaments themselves, I try to actually minimize that. In fact, because you spend so much time looking at the screen for your preparation before the game, I also think that's bad too. You don't want to be looking at screens nonstop. So I, I very I, yeah. generally, I don't during events. Um, uh, but, but I, I mean, I, I have, but it's just, I, I feel like it's more of the same because so much of the preparation is on a computer screen that I try not to. Now there's a lot of chess players that get into poker too. Do you, do you play poker? Um, yeah, I have played poker. I don't, I don't play it like professionally. Um, and actually when black Friday happened in, I believe it was 2011 or 2012, I forget which, which year it was now. Um, that pretty much put a stop to any, any ideas I had of trying to play it more seriously because Did in most most states there aren't really that many casinos um i mean if you're fortunate you live like in in nevada or in vegas of course they're, they're everywhere but 
uh, playing online and playing a lot of tournaments at the same time or playing a lot of tables it really makes it easier whereas the, the in-person casino experience um generally i found it to be pretty boring um even if it's a tournament even if you're just playing cash game it's just very it's very boring because you're you're literally sitting and waiting to get certain cards for the most part yeah um let's go with pawn um this bishop if we force a trade of this bishop do we want to do that which pawn do you want me to push? Um, I think you want me to do this one. You can also do C C five. I know you can't talk, but yeah, no, no, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, let's go with rook. All right. But yeah, like with poker, I mean, I think when you can play a lot, you're always going to have some action somewhere when you can play on multiple tables. When you can only play one table, and if, if you keep getting bad cards over and over and over again. I, I remember I, I played some poker in Fox, which is in, which is in Connecticut, and um, I was playing a cash game. And I, I think I wasn't the only person. There were probably two other people as well at the table who, like, literally they would look at their cards, and for, like, a couple hours they were literally folding, and they would, they would be reading a magazine. It's just fold the hand, read the magazine, yep. wait for the next hand, fold, read more of their magazine. And, like, so when, when online poker in the U.S. became more or less illegal, and, and I think it was 2012, um, I, I stopped. Uh, I, I pretty much stopped playing. Yeah, the movies make it look like there's just constant action, but 90% of poker, 95, is just sitting there. Well, you know, it's interesting because I think in that way, poker is a lot like chess. Um, let's let's go with um, let's go with uh, knight. Knight. Well, you wouldn't want me to go to e5, compromise my pawn structure. So I assume you want me to go here. So, so like with poker, though, I mean, because when you play in like the, when they show like the World Series or I mean, a, lo a lot of these tournaments with the very big prize funds, um, most of the time that's like they, they find a way of editing the hands. So you see the exciting hands that decide what's happening in the tournament. But they, they, yeah. they also don't show like the, the hours where there are just very small pots. Not a lot is going on. And um, in many ways, it's like chess, because in, in, in chess, w at least the professional competitions, usually the games are very slow and they go for a very long time um yeah. so it's it's quite similar in, in in a way i think chess is more mentally satisfying and poker is more emotionally satisfying because the the, mm -hmm. the the swings are much higher yeah i think that's uh let's go with um let's go with queen uh, i think this is the spot that makes the most sense there Whereas, yeah, because like in chess, I feel like when, when, when you win, like there's, there are very few things that feel better because it's like, it's all on you. It's all your victory. It's all through the moves that you found and, and the way that you played against your opponent. So it is definitely, um, very satisfying mentally. Whereas you're right with poker, when you win, it's just like that euphoria. It's, it's a little bit different. Um, mm -hmm. but I do think there are similarities between the two. Oh yeah, definitely. So do you think poker I, should be legalized or not? Because I know you, I know you do a lot of political related stuff. So, um, yeah, I mean, I I do think it should be. I mean, there should be. I like the idea of there being some safeguards. You know, like if you go to a casino, there's always a the number. You know, one eight hundred gambler or whatever. And mm -hmm. So people should be made aware of the resources. Oh, uh oh, let's go with bishop. Here? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think I mean that's that that definitely. I, th I think it's true, but, but actually I, I meant, um, I meant online actually more, more so because like you, you can yeah. obviously, there are casinos in many States and you can play, um, in person, but whether you think, whether you think like online, like, because online, I think, um, I think betting on sports is legal or, or at least it, it, in some cases it's legal. Whereas like poker online is just more or less not legal. Like it's, it's pretty much illegal. Uh, let's move. Bishop. Right. Now. Should I go back to the same spot or should I go, should I attack his knight? Um, I think here makes more sense. Just in case I want to swing my knight from d2 to f3 and then to g5 is what I'm thinking. What is your profile picture, by the way? I can't, I can't tell what that is. <laughs> 
Well, it's funny you mentioned politics. That was me at a friend of mine's house named Jericho. You might have heard of him. He's a pretty big streamer on Twitch. Uh, we were watching the 2008 term, uh, 2018 midterm results. Oh. That was when, when it was uh, Democrats trying to take back the House. And so that was mm -hmm. me hold, holding a bunch of beers with like a really scared look on my face. <laughs> right. It's a thing that I do for like every election now. So, so, so like, I mean, you mainly stream politics. So like, how... how what how, what do you do or how do you keep the motivation during the periods when like there there aren't the, the midterms or there aren't the presidential elections because i mean it's, it's at least every two well, years like well, do you find I a mean, lull during, or uh -huh. not really i mean like t especially with a with a president like with, with like trump he was such a um controversial character so there was a new headline every week um Oh, I mean, more pro probably more like every two hours honestly but right, yeah. <laughs> anyway but it's not like the sorry yeah, yeah, go ahead a go of the night with the night, okay. With the night. Where did they move again? They moved. Okay, so I think you want me to go here. So you're saying with all the, like the different different headlines and and things. Um, I mean, with Biden, it's not like there's no controversy with Biden either because um, with Biden, he's he's despised by both um, the conservative crowd and the and the more progressive crowd online uh -huh. so it's actually the, the discourse is actually i think a little bit more interesting with him with with trump it's like you, you were debating about like injecting bleach and just really weird <laughs> things that he said but with, with uh -huh. biden you actually get into s some pretty substantive d debates about policy so i i think it's more interesting actually right now than it was before and, and i was curious also because like there there were some articles especially before the before the election like has it really it feels like it's really exploded on twitch like again you, you you you've mentioned before that you were one of the first people i think who was playing chess on twitch but like with politics as well it feels like in the last like year or two it's it's really exploded in its its own mm -hmm. right too so so like yeah. does it feel different to you in any way or like you just kind of expected politics would get there or as a medium or or should, i'm kind of surprised I'm surprised to see it um, to to see it so successful on Twitch. I mean, there wasn't a lot of people doing it uh, maybe four four or five years ago. Um, okay. Um, let's go with uh, Pawn. With Pawn. Okay. Um, but yeah, some some creators came around. Like um, Destiny's been doing it for a while, and then Hassan showed up, and he's just really exploded. Um, Bishop. Um, All right. All right, we got ourselves a nice little Ooh, you know what? We got a lot of opportunities over here. Find a way to swing that rook over for a check eventually and Um, let's go with, uh, let's go with Bishop. Okay. I think, I think I'm doing a good job picking up what you're throwing down. Don't, don't comment. <laughs> don't tell me, but I, th I, I think today I'm doing a little bit better than I was yesterday. All right, let's Oof. go with um Let's go with queen. <clears throat> this one is a little trickier. <laughs> um Well, Really only a couple things that made sense to me. Well, I think you want me to go. I think you want me to go here. But I could have also gone to C1 or D2. 
It's one of those three, I think. Well, I mean, we just have a massive lead on time here. I didn't even right, yeah. I, w I wasn't even really... I, I guess that's why, yeah, it feels like we've been talking so much. It makes sense. Cause, um, okay, let's go with uh, Knight. So, so do you think that things like Twitch are going to overtake, um, like, traditional media? Like, people are going to look for, like, I mean, political analysis or things like this uh, relating to current events more so on, like, Twitch or YouTube? Or do you think it's, like, just a period Absolutely. of time as a pandemic? Okay. No, I think I think it's already happening. I think it's already happening now with with younger people. I mean, like, we have a long ways to go before TV is, you know, canceled, as it were. Mm -hmm. Right. But, but the numbers are just getting bigger and bigger for for this kind of content. All right, let's go with um let's go with Rook. Okay. I could go to F3 and attack that square. That kind of makes the most sense. I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. Actually, I don't know though cuz if I want to swing my other Rook up there, wouldn't it make make more sense to close off that H file? Now nah, let's go for the attack right away. It's fine. We got a pawn hanging over there, but who cares? Um let's go with uh queen. <coughs> queen he says. Queen, he says. Okay, I think I see what you're going for here. Yeah, I see what's happening. Um, let's go with, uh, knight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's harder to blunder when you're telling, <laughs> when you're telling me which pieces to move. <coughs> <laughs> Queen. This is a nice little blunder proof situation. Here. <coughs> uh, well, we got a pretty solid check over there, but. I don't know if that's the yeah you know what let's <coughs> uh queen and it's almost um let's go with rook about that time. <coughs> Oh. Okay. Let's go with um let's go with knight. Now you're just messing with me. You just want to do it fancy, huh? Let's go with rook. Do you know what that is, by the way? That checkmate, if uh, uh, where you get the knight, knight in the rook in the corner like that. Um, are you talking about a smother mate or? Well, so it, when 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 you play knight to f six, there's a queen that can be captured on g six, and then you go rook takes h seven, which is a checkmate with the knight in the rook. Um... And that's actually called the uh, the Arabian checkmate. It's uh, it's it's where you use the knight and the rook to coordinate and make a checkmate against the king. What, which um, so which move was that available on? Um, on move 28 when you went knight to f6 right before the end just one move before uh -huh. the end of the game black could have taken uh -huh. the queen and then you play rook takes knight right okay yeah yeah that's that's and, what uh, that's yeah. what i thought that we were going to do anyways yeah right so i was just pointing out that's 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 what they call the arabian checkmate it's really kind of kind of beautiful with the knight and the rook in this this corner okay uh let's go with pawn wait 
Budget Hassan. Wait, is, oh, wait, is Turk Budget Hassan? <laughs> okay, let's go. I just <laughs> let's go, Pawn. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. I'm close the chat, guys. Can you put it in emote only for me, please? Thank you. Let's go with Knight. Um. Let's go with Pawn. To be honest with you, I never know which order to take here. Um, I think, you know what? I guess we'll just do it like this. Let's go with um. Let's go with knight. All right. Let's go with um pawn. Um, let's go with Bishop. <clears throat> All right, what would Jesus? I think we'll do it like this. Might be a little too passive. Uh, let's go with King. But yeah, ch chess is, I mean, it's, it's fascinating because even now when we watch the computers play, the computers now are so much better than they were um, even like five years ago for that matter. Let's go with Knight. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I think I remember when I was reading about the Kasparov deep blue match, he walked away from that from that match basically saying there's almost no point anymore. Let's go with Queen. To um playing computers because they were just so much more advanced. Right, and I think the, the probably the hardest thing, um and this is gonna happen over time. I mean it, it won't be like in a systematic way. But the hardest thing is like even when top grandmasters look at the computer games, we still don't fully understand what they're doing because obviously, you know, computer can't talk to us; it can't explain its thought process. Just zeros and ones. Um, yeah. Let's go with uh, rook. With rook. With rook. Okay. All right. We'll do it like that. Um. So, so like it, because the computers can't explain it, we try to look at their games. Let's go with um. Let's go with knight. Okay. So because the computer can't tell us what it's doing in the game. We, we essentially end up in a situation where like we're trying to look at the games and implement things ourselves. Um, but at some point, there are going to be kids who come along who it just what when they look at the computer games, they can internalize it because they haven't, you know, they haven't learned the game a certain way over many, many years. And they'll just become the strongest in the world because they'll be able to just because they're so young and they're, the game yeah. is so fresh, they'll be able to view it differently than than the current players who are who are really strong and because they'll have that added sort of computer benefit they will um they'll they'll become the best in the world because they'll be able to understand the computers and the thought process computers have in a way that the current current top players don't let's go with um let's go with queen okay so i can i can get a little active here yeah, I think I like that. 
That's interesting. I had never even thought of that. If you that'd be an interesting experience um, experiment. If you if you raise the kid to be mm-hmm. a chess prodigy and you only had them playing the computer for like the first fifteen years of their life, you just literally didn't let them play any humans. What yeah, sort of I chess mean, player would that would that create? Yeah, that would be kind of interesting. That's true. Yeah, that's almost like that's like the uh, the neural. That's the way the neural networks work. Actually, is literally the computer plays itself over and over and over again. Um, so there's 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 no way of actually knowing. Um, but yeah, I, I think I, I think at some point you will. That's that will be the difference between the current top players and the players in like ten to twenty years who become really good. It's just the ability of these these kids to sort of internalize and understand these things that to us having learned the game over so many years and being so set in our ways and especially being adults as well, we'll never really be able to um, to put into practice so i'm threatening his pawn here i'm also threatening his bishop uh, he could move queen to e7 but then i can attack the pawn on d5 with my knight i think i think this is a advantage for white here i, I have to connect my rooks it's got to be something i do i always usually just put the bishop on b2 here me and Ketowit on that side yeah, I, I think um, in, in general, your style, like the the one thing that all chess players have is they have a style. And so when, when I see your chess is this very like sort of positional, very, very smooth kind of style um, versus like being a tactical and very aggressive. Um, and, and I think in, in, in some ways, it's you, you have these clashes where players really play positional and players really play tactical and very aggressive. And for the most part, positional generally is 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 a better style, I would say. Let's go with um knight. All right, so that pawn is open. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and take it. It's kind of like it's like it's like when you compare I don't know like any sports like you know the offense versus the defense. Positional is much more like defensive and posi- it's like positional defensive. You you don't really you're not very aggressive. You're trying to just slowly slowly defend and and win a very long game uh, versus like trying to win the game right at the start. So it's like the defense offense if you compare it to sports. And I think generally um you kind of have to be universal, but it it's generally better if you play play that style. Who was the um the ch- the grandmaster way back in the day was it Alakine who was re- like really slow and positional. Um, um maybe it was Capablanca, maybe. The, I, there I'm were a few. There's there was, yeah. there's like uh, Al Alakine. Maybe it could have been like um, Bot Vinick. Maybe I'm not, I'm not sure exactly who who you're thinking of. But anyway, let's go with Rook. But for every like every really aggressive like Sparov and Fisher were players for were world champions who were really aggressive. They tried to tried to to win win the game at the start with their opening opening preparation. There there were people like Karpov, for example, or Magnus, um, who were much more positional. Let's go with Bishop. Well, there's really only one. <laughs> Actually, I realized that. <laughs> literally one move on the board. <laughs> I remember reading the book uh, Bobby Fischer versus the World. Or mm-hmm. Is it Bobby Fischer versus? I, I think it was Bobby Fischer versus the World, but the the story of his um his match with uh, it was Spassky. Um, um, Spassky, yeah. What a fascinating, just such a fascinating encounter at such an interesting time too. Yeah, I think like in in general, I mean, chess was very popular then, but it was against the backdrop of the Cold War. So there there were certain like right. conditions that really made it different. Um, like something like that. Uh, let's go with um, Bishop. So there were certain conditions for that backdrop that really made a uh, made a big difference, and in, in a way that like chess, it can become big, but it's gonna be, it's not gonna be about like a world championship match or, you know, the U S against the USSR, those sorts of things. They, they just don't, don't really exist right. in the same way. I mean, national nationalism, even it's just not, not the same thing now. So, um, but, but those conditions really made that match special. And at the time it was the most viewed sporting event in history. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. so there was a lot of interest at the time. I think what we're experiencing right now. Okay. Let's go with, um, 
let's go with um let's go with uh let's go with rook there's an aggressive move and then there's i, I kind of want to keep this file I'm up a pawn, right? Yeah. So I think I'm going to do it this way. Let me just make sure I'm not blundering here. Okay. Feels like a really important file, so I, I want to give that up. Um, I would I would argue what's happening right now with chess is it, it maybe it's not on the same level as the Spassky Fisher match, but there is sort of a, a renaissance going on right now where a lot of people are getting into the game. Yeah, um, I think I mean it's it's I think the easiest thing about chess, unlike unlike a lot of a lot of other games, it's just one of those things where uh, the game's never ending. Like you will always be able to improve no matter what level you're at, and so even even if the game is difficult to get to. Uh, to improve at you, you, there's steps along the way. Like XQC, for example, was like 600 for, it felt like, I don't know, it felt like forever. It probably was like six months where his rating was stuck at 600, 700. And then he had this breakthrough where his rating went up to like 1100. And, and so even, even if you get stuck, you can improve, but there's always another level. There's, it's, you just, you never run out of levels. Let's go with Rook. Yeah, if video games weren't as advanced as they are now, then uh -huh. I think chess would obviously obviously be a lot bigger. But chess has right. to complete Pete now with like um, League of Legends and a lot of these other sort of tactical games, Hearthstone. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but still, I, I would also say though, of all the games out there, probably more people have been exposed to chess than any traditional video game. Um, oh yeah. Uh, let's just go with um, Pawn. Okay, so this is a sensitive pawn here. It's a sensitive lad, so I think this is what you're intending. I don't think I like his pawn move there. It feels like it's weakening weakening up his um You know, it's interesting like one thing though of, about the structure is that and this is why we study the classic games is that this notion of putting the pawns on, like they sort of prevent the bishop from attacking in a way. So this was a concept that um, that Mikhail Botvinnik, the former world champion, he really he really established it. Whether it's like two pawns or three pawns, the notion um, of like trying to trying to prevent your pieces from uh, from ever attacking. Okay, yeah, I see that now. I'm not saying it's good or bad, by the way. I'm just saying it's it's um, it's Whoa. something. Let's go with um, let's go with pawn what a move um i take queen check here um i think i would go king f1 at that spot maybe Check down here. Actually, no, I think I might do that. No, I'm going to take it. I don't think this is good. King? Okay, so now the question is F1 or H1? I think F1 probably makes the most sense here. Does it, though? I think it does. I can't explain why. I think it does, though. Yeah, I think he got a little too frisky with that sack. I don't know what that was. He did say he was nervous. <laughs> well, I mean, I was thinking with with a username like that, out of all the people we can play against, I mean, 
beating someone who, who be, beating Hassan or budget Hassan. There's like, I can't think of anything better. Let's go with Bishop. Have you had any um, encounters with Hassan yet? With, uh, Hassan no, Pogchamp? I haven't. He actually, he, he said he was interested in playing in pog champs too, but then he, he, then he ghosted us in the D out. And once we invited him, um, oh, what? so I have to yeah. reach out and <laughs> harangue him a little bit. He's a guy. I, dude, I think he would be so good for Pog Champs, actually. He's a, he's a colorful character. I'll say that. All right. Let's go with, um, let's go with Queen. This is too spicy to pass up on. Far too spicy. That's cool to hear about XQC um, improving his rating. It's it's really fun in the beginning. Like beginning is when you improve the fastest, and then and then in my experience, you slow down a little bit as as right. it gets more difficult. But you can you you can really. Uh, let's sort go with Rook. Yeah. Let's do that. But if you if you study the game, if you I mean you don't even have to read books necessarily anymore when you're first beginning. You can um there's a lot of YouTube tutorials now that I think if you're a more visual learner, that can even be better. Yeah, I think um, I mean that that's what I would say in, in, in general terms. Um is is that one thing that I think makes a big difference is just on the internet, on YouTube, or even if you go on chess.com or Lead Chess or any of these sites, is that you can get you can get information very easily. And especially if you're young, it's like, you can just, you can just, um, I mean, it just, it's all so easy to, to remember in, in, in a way. So books, yeah, books, I, I think almost, uh, let's go with, um, night. With night. What do you mean with night? Uh, move your night. But that's very scary. Oh, it's not scary. I'm fine, actually. Knight? Am I fine? I am fine. Yes, Hikaru! <laughs> oh, thank God you're here. Uh, Rook. Um, Queen. Mm. Oh, I almost blundered. Well, I mean, was it a blunder? I guess we'll just do that. Why not bishop there? I mean, you can tell me afterwards, but why not throw a bishop check at b4? Uh, queen. 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 
queen. Um, let's go with pawn. I see what you're doing. I see it. Very clever. Ooh, that would be pretty. If he doesn't move that queen. <laughs> King. Um, let's go with knight. Knight. Yeah, Very Sicaro. nice. By the way, the reason I didn't say bishop b4 is I, I, I was trying to get you to play queen b4, just to simplify. But bishop b4 is the best move. And probably I should have said it in retrospect it's the only move that makes sense. It doesn't lose the rook. But I was actually trying to get you to play queen before. That's the only reason I, I didn't say uh, move the bishop. Oh, queen to just... To, queen to b4, but then... He has to trade queens. So so I would take his rook before before they exchange? Um, You could do that. Gonna... You, you could take the queen with yeah. check with the bishop also. But I mean, the point was just to get to an end game where you have a bishop and a knight and he only has a king. Okay. Yeah, with the pawns on four. So it's just like you, you can just win this pretty easily. That, that was the only only reason I didn't say bishop e4. But I should have said bishop b4 um, as well. But the thing is, when he went bishop e3, it doesn't work, actually, because also on move 22, you could have gone king to h1. And then king if queen c1, one. you can block with the knight on g1, and your king is very, very safe. Do you think h1 would have been would have been better? Um, I think both are fine. I mean, in a way, I would have liked king h1 more, perhaps. Because after queen c1, you can just go knight g1, and there's only one option with knight g1. But king f1 fills, I mean, if you're worried about a back rank made and not sure, king f1 is also very good. Both work. Yeah. Um, so I guess we have to rematch them and start the second. Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll click rematch here. Okay. Okay, let's go with um, knight. Let's go with pawn. Go with bishop. Let's go with uh, king. Let's go with pawn. Um. Feels weird doing this. I don't know if this is what you meant. Pawn. So what happens if me and Turk have the same amount of points? Like if he wins every other match and then I win one, he wins one in our match? First of all, pawn. Second of all, if, if we don't lose this game and we win this match, um, we're gonna be we're gonna make it through because the because I think in our third match we play the lowest ranked seed in our group. Um yeah. so that won't happen. Okay. So if we take care of business in this game. Okay, let's go with um, pawn. I think you must mean this. What else would you mean? Let's go with um. Let's go with rook. Oh, I guess that, <laughs> there's only one <laughs> move. <laughs> uh, <laughs> kind of hard to come up with another rook move. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, let's go with pawn. Pawn A. Um, let's go with um, pawn. What are you asking of me? I don't know what else it could be besides this, but I feel so dirty doing this. I don't know if it, it doesn't feel right. Bishop. Queen. Wait, wasn't my pawn hanging just there? Um, let's go with Bishop. Also, you guys, yeah, to be clear, Bishop H6 was very, very good. I just muted myself. So Bishop H6 was very did good. Did I have hair when we did the PogChamps tournament? Was PogChamps won? Shaven by me. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. But I'm not sure. It was because all the barbers closed for um, COVID. <laughs> had nothing to do with my hairline. <laughs> True. Actually, are you in you're in you're, are you in SoCal or Northern California? Southern California. Okay. Uh, Knight. Uh, because I was trying to figure out have, have the rules changed or something? Because like when I when I went out yesterday, I was just I was just out doing a little bit of shopping. There were like people eating outdoors, indoors. It just it felt like it was more open than I thought was allowed. I figure um, as you're in politics, you probably would know what's what's going are, on. Are you in Southern California as well? Yeah, I'm, I'm in L.A. Oh, okay. Uh, well, yeah, they did. I know they opened it up for outdoor dining. They might. It might be the case where it's like 25% capacity indoor. I'm not, okay. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, We're just playing just it nice and safe it. regardless. Yeah. Right, so yeah, those there's, you guys... There's, that we have a lot of data now, and outdoor outdoor dining does not seem to be a significant source of spread, which is why it was weird that they they banned it when it when it went on when it went on the strict lockdown. Right, right. Because there wasn't a lot of data to back that up. But it was pretty gnarly in Los Angeles, so I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's go with um, Bishop. Okay, let's do a little simplification here. Let's go with knight. Yeah. Come on. Outpost. Let's go with um let's go with rook. <clears throat> yep. I don't know if it's just the positions and the way they're unfolding, but it it's making your suggestions it feels like your suggestions are pretty pretty straightforward. <laughs> now we could do a postmortem and you can tell me I did seven wrong moves, but it feels that way.
Yeah, so position's pretty balanced, you guys. You can play like knight d5, knight f4, there's queen f5, I all kinds. I want to go back and try to understand why he didn't take my... Take my pawn on h6. Uh, let's go with knight. Outpost. Strong knight. We like this knight. Let's go with... Let's just go with king. See? In my head, I'm like, he's going to say king right now. Um... So even even with your face right now, when you're not even playing, I feel like you're scolding me. So I feel like <laughs> I just did it wrong. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I could be unhappy. I could be happy. Anything. Let's go with um. Let's go with pawn. Wait, so who's budget or never mind. Okay, let's go with uh let's go with knight. Hmm. I think you want me to post up maybe on F five and attack that pawn. It's hard to say. Yeah, okay, I see what you're doing here. God damn it, you're smart. I don't want to jinx it, Hikaru, but I think I think you and I might be the duo. <laughs> Pretty early. We still have to get through this game first. I will say the positions are definitely lending themselves to, to moves that don't seem overly hard no matter what level you're playing at. I will say that. Let's go with knight. Night. Three. Night, he says. Now I'm confused. Okay. Hmm. 
night. I gotta protect this pond, though. What are you getting me into? Okay, I think I can see what's going on here. Oh, no, I don't know if you want me to do it. Ah, <sighs> <clears throat> Yeah, you guys, I, I just muted myself. Obviously, he should. Obviously, knight takes d, d4 is the move, but he, he he almost. I don't know if he'll play it, but I feel like I'm trying to give him. I'm trying to feed him obvious moves, so I'm I'm really trying to. Uh, I'm trying to get him to see the ideas. He had something. Not a big poker poker face on that one, Hikaru. Oh, are you looking at me? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. Rook. 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 Can, will he see the kebab is the big question. Rook d2 is the classic kebab. Will he see it or not? Will he see it? Let's see. He's got the classic kebab here. Will he see the kebab or not? That's the big question. Oh, my confidence is shook now. Let's go with um Let's go with queen. By the way, you guys, I think he misunderstood my, my expression for that of like, I was surprised. I think he didn't realize that, that my face was the pog champs and he thought that I was saying that he blundered. I think he misread my, my facial expression actually, if I'm thinking about it now. So he said his confidence is shook where his confidence should be sky high. Queen. What if we um, offer a draw here and just take the <laughs> Right, so so Rook. I mean I they're they're not gonna accept a draw here, I'm pretty sure, because that means we win the match. True, 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 true. Uh Queen. Oh, do they what? offer a draw? Oh, we take the draw for sure. Yeah, we take the draw for sure. Nice, very nice. Okay, what did I, what what was that look? Why'd you give me that look? Well, that was actually the correct move. But th there were two moments. The first thing was that you saw the original idea, but then you missed it after knight f four and rook d one. You could have played knight takes h three. So what move, move was that again? Twenty three. Twenty twenty three. Okay, so and I played rook to a to d one. Yeah, the or you, yeah, they played that, and then you could have played knight takes h3. Knight takes h. Oh. Yep. 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 Okay. So right. that there, that. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I was just gonna ask. Were there any uh, serious blunders in that game or anything like that? No. Everything you did throughout the game was pretty good. I think. Th I mean. There were, no, you're actually you know what your blunder was in the opening. What you did was wrong. Normally in the King's Indian on move um like moves move five, you're supposed to play pawn to d6 and then pawn to e5. Pawn to d6 and then pawn to e5. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was the only real mistake. Um, 
But then, yeah, like when I said H6, they, they could have traded and taken on H6. On right. move, move so, 12 or 13. And you would have been fine with that? Well, I, I mean, probably bishop g4 when we play the game. We're a little bit worse, but you're probably going to win the pawn back on d4. So it, it would have been bad. Like on move 12, knight takes, bishop takes, and on move 13, bishop takes pawn. You can then go bishop to g4 with the idea of trading for the knight on f3 and the pawn on d4. Okay. Gotcha. So that that would have um that would have been that would have been the best way to play um for them. But again, it, when they played e4, it already was quite dangerous, and that's just because of where we put our pawns. That that was gotcha. the reason. Um, because you're you're supposed to put the pawns on d6 and e5, not on um not on e6 and d5. Okay. So that's all right. that's what I was saying. But all right, well I'm gonna, I'm gonna go right to quick... the yeah. Yeah, me too, actually. Yeah, yeah. All right, okay, I'll be right back. Well, let's go with pawn. Sure. Well, we'll pick it up after the games. Yeah. Because we're going to qualify for something. Something. <clears throat> okay, let's go with pawn. Let's go with knight. Let's go with uh, knight. All right, you guys, pretty traditional. Bishop f4, g5, something like this. Uh, pr pretty good stuff. Um, Cutie's actually improved her ratings up to 830, so she has improved quite a bit from where she was. I wonder if they're playing the triangle setup, um, if there's some meme behind that or why they're playing the triangle, because it's a very difficult opening setup to play here. Oh. All right, let's go with uh let's go with bishop. Okay, I'm gonna put it there. I don't know if I'm supposed to if I'm allowed to say this, but I, I think I can say this anyway. Do you by any chance remember a game you had with a very similar opening in the past? An important game? Uh not really. Are you comparing this to the four pawn? No, no, it's okay. Oh. Um, pawn. Okay, so I think probably here. Who, I do mean, you remember it, it, who, the, who my opponent was? Oh, of course I do. It was only nine months ago. Oh. It was during Pog Champs. But anyway. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, let's go with um. Let's go with Bishop. Um. Yeah, it looks simplified enough. Just uh, since since you you don't remember, I'll, uh, let's go with knight. With knight, he says, just take up that spot right away. But then, but then if she offers a trade, I mean, I guess. Or do you mean here? Okay. So you you had a game in this very this is what we call the Stonewall opening where black black or white puts pawns out like this and you had a, you had a game in their very close match against Yasuo actually in Pog Champs one with this opening. Oh man. Yeah. It's he, it's all uh, good. Yeah. <laughs> he played really well in that in that tournament. I remember. I think right. Yeah. Yeah. Am, he, I, th he, am, well, I, am I thinking of Nim? Well, Nim played well, too, but Yasuo lost to Boy Boy, I believe. So, yeah, he lost the eventual winner. Um, let's go with Bishop. Bishop. Okay. Yeah, I think in every tournament there's been someone who's really stood out and improved a lot. And I, I think actually in PogChamps 1, Nim was probably the player who I think worked the hardest and improved the most um, from where they started, started out before the event. He was way stronger than I expected him to be because I studied his games for a little bit, mm -hmm. but he spent, I think he spent like 10 hours a day grinding that game, like legit for prep for the tournament. And then he ended up beating me one game. 
Right. Yeah. That, I mean, mm. I remember watching that. It was really, really close. Um, but you did, you did come back in, in that second game. And that was very, yeah. very, very good second game that you played. Okay, let's go with Pawn. I think you mean this. Wait, I don't know if you did. Maybe you might push the pawn. Let's go with um Ooh. Let's go with queen. Well, I like my position more. Her bishop sucks. <laughs> um, yeah, I like my position more. Yeah. Yeah, so as I was saying, like, like I think the thing is with taking time off, for me, it's kind of like I've just gotten so used to it. Um, let's go with um, Pawn. So, so it doesn't it doesn't bother you to to stream like seven days a week um not not really i mean i i think like i can't do like 10 hours a day or anything but but usually like I'll, I'll i'll try to do do like one or two days where i keep it lighter it's like three to four hours and i'll have one day where i stream like eight or nine um but yeah it doesn't it doesn't really bother me that often i, I think there are times when i feel tired um but mostly it doesn't and also the other thing is that right now i'm playing in professional like online competitions as well which sometimes go for two weeks so it's all it's like i kind of get a break in a sense if you can say that kind of um let's go with uh let's go with queen And also, I mean, I think the other thing I would say is for me, it's like, what would I be doing if I'm not streaming? Like I can study chess, but if I'm, if I'm not going to be like studying chess, like all the things that I really enjoy, like the outdoors or things like this, like, or going out and, and like, uh, finding good restaurants. These are things that I really enjoy, like good food, but like, you're, I can't do that right now. That's just not something right. that, that exists. So it's like, what else would I be doing anyway? Yeah. Gaming and streaming and YouTube and stuff is one of those industries that feels like it's almost recession proof mm -hmm. and in many in, oh okay let's go with um let's go with queen Wait, how did this happen okay
go with bishop. You know, it's interesting you said that, though, about recession proof, because actually that's one of the things that has actually been said about chess. Um, not not like in like not online, but in terms of like uh, the classic level where kids who are in school wanting lessons and, and things of this nature, like people have always mm -hmm. been able to get, there have always been um, opportunities for instructors, even when like even when there were things like the recession in 2008 that occurred. Um, interesting. Let's go with uh, Knight. I don't know if I want to trade that down, but then I make he it makes an isolated pawn that which is like a really big target. So you know what? I'm gonna do it. Let's go with um, King. Now, do I just move my king up because it's kind of the end game here a little bit, or? Maybe. Hmm. You know what? Let's not get fancy. Um, let's go with uh, Rook. Uh, big shout out to Nit Jr., by the way, in, in chat, who I said, love to see Carl play FPS games. I used to live on FPS games in 2016. $600 a month. That's nothing in Norway. Yeah, uh, Nit Jr., I've been to Norway many, many times. One second. Um, let's go with uh, Pawn. This game, by the way, is going very badly right now. Um, but what I was going to say is that um, in Norway, 600 bucks is like not enough to like not enough to uh, to rent a studio even. In, Nor in Norway is like the most expensive place in the world. It's just like you, you can't afford anything there on unless you have like a million bucks a month. Let's go with pawn. Do you hear me? I said pawn. Yep. 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 Oh, okay. No, no, I just wasn't sure if you yep. heard me. That's all. Yeah. Trying to think. Um. go with pawn okay Let's go with um let's go with uh knight. Um
Let's go with Rook. Let's go with Rook. Let's go with Rook. Let's go with King. Go with pawn. Let's go with pawn. Um, let's go with pawn. I wonder. Let's go with pawn. pawn. I feel like you want me to do this. <clears throat> Bishop. Rook. King. Hmm. <sighs> this game kind of scary. Rook.
Um, Rook. Slightly less scary now. <laughs> King. King. Uh, Rook. King. Okay. What the hell happened? Rook. <clears throat> King. 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 Uh, King. King. Pawn. Pawn. King. Um, Rook. Hmm. Um, Rook. Okay. I see. King. Rook.
If I could pre-move, I would. King? Rook? King? I almost moved without you. Rook? Oh, oh Hikaru! Uh, yeah, that was... Yeah, <laughs> not so good. <laughs> but all right. What happened? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Also, apparently we're supposed to start right away, so I guess you're supposed to send a rematch. Right away? Okay. Yeah. Oh, dear. I need to shake that one off. All right, it's okay. We got, the, we got the dub. It's all good. Your poker face wasn't as strong for that game. <laughs> <laughs> let's, go with, um, let's go with Knight. Um, pawn. Uh, pawn. 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 Mm. Pawn. <laughs> oh, do you want me to do this? Do a little double fianchetto? Okay, oh, bishop. I got lucky. I got lucky. Oh, dear. Uh, Bishop. Go with uh, King. Knight. Uh, okay. Um... If I do that and he just pushes, are you thinking this one here? Um, let's go with pawn. Uh, let's go with um let's go with pawn knight Let's go with knight.
night, he says. <laughs> <coughs> well. could do something like this to here, but that just seems so weird. Maybe that's what you want me to do? I don't, I don't know. I don't think you want me to offer a trade here and make an isolated pawn. I don't think you want me to do that. Oh, because they're getting ready to go there. This one's tough. Why is she so good? Maybe you do want that. Force the trade? Maybe that's what you wanted me to do? I hope. Um, let's go with, uh, Knight. These night moves, just <laughs> gobbling my time. Um, yeah, I really don't know. Um, let's go with Knight. Let's go with um let's go with bishop Sneaky sneaky
go with um knight. Let's go with Bishop. Pawn. Let's go with um, Queen. Let's go with Knight. Uh, let's go with um, Knight. Let's go with Queen. Go with Queen. Uh, let's go with um, Rook. Uh, let's go with um, Rook. Let's go with Rook.
Okay. Oops. Uh, bishop. Rook. Rook. Queen. Very oh, nice. Carl. That one was pretty smooth. That was much better than the first one. Like that was much, uh, much easier. It felt like. But you know what I wanted was kind of in the opening. Um, when someone plays this, the Stonewall setup, um, was basically that you can always try to try to attack the center by pushing a pawn to e5. Like you could have done it on a move five. I originally wanted instead of c5 was pushing the pawn to e5. Um, instead of C five on move four, you mean move four? Yeah, move four was one option. Then move six was another option. To put, I'm sorry, say that P to push on E. Yeah, to E five. So White can take a pawn in the center by by taking the pawn twice on E five, but then you go knight to G four. Um, gotcha. Okay. And after knight to F three, you can go bishop to G seven, and you take the pawn on E five. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So that that would have been a little bit better, but overall, I, I think in both games it was pretty pretty smooth. So it was it was good. It's very You're very good. Just saying that. I saw. No no no. I mean it was good. I was good. But what I would say is we ended up in weird positions that you're not used to. I felt like in the last two games, unlike in the first four games, like the moves were not as easy to find. Like when I said a piece, it was the, the move wasn't obvious the way that it was, um, the first yeah. time. So yeah. Those, but those night good. moves were so confusing for me this game. Because they were just, I mean, were there any night moves that I got wrong? Um, no, they you? were good. Really? Okay. Yeah, knight c5 I, I is would... what I wanted. Knight b4 is what I wanted. Yeah. Okay. All right, I was doubting myself after that, after that first game. You looked yeah. like I had to. I had to close. I had to close OBS because I, I couldn't look at your face anymore. <laughs> emotionally devastating, like a stepfather who's really upset with you. A <laughs> Yeah, but you did well in the second game. Second game, second game was good. The first one was uh, was shaky, but the, the second game was good. And yeah, so what? Six and zero, oh, right? Or, or five? Uh, five no, was one five draw. and a draw. Yeah. yeah, But but I think that means we're the top seed. seed so we're gonna go into the uh, into the champions bracket. I think, if I'm not mistaken. So we move to the semifinals right now, right? And then if uh, if I win, then I go to the championship, right? Correct. It's the, yes. The top seed from each pool. Right. And so if I four. lose, then I go to the. Uh, the, the um, losers bracket I don't finals? No, I don't actually know. Let me let me see if I can find it. I know it's somewhere. single elim from now on. I think right. I think is the championship single elim as well, or is it just the semifinals? That is. I'm not sure. Um, let me f yeah, let me look that up real quick. Can't championship and consolation brackets. First place from each group advance to championship bracket. Mm-hmm. Sec second, third place from each group advanced to consolation bracket. Fourth place from each group are eliminated. In the championship bracket, all matches are two games. Each team begins as white pieces. In the consolation bracket, all matches are one game. Okay, so this is still um, two games for these. Okay, good. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna run the restroom, so I'll I'll be back. Yeah, in, me too. Back in a yeah, few. Yeah. Okay.